Goosebumps. I hadn't uh, realized that it was the award for 2007, and I'm just hearing it. And um, I'm certainly honored. I want to give thanks to God for lending him to me with all his gifts that he came with and for sharing the music that he had inside with the world. I'd like to thank his fans from around the world for their support and their continued support and appreciation of his music because it was really all that he had on the inside. His life's blood was his music. His pulse was a beat for him, just like we take for granted every day in the air that we breathe and the respirations that we give. It's a beat for Dilla, you know? When he making a beat, that's how, that's how he did it, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it, it looked like real natural, like he could just, you know, he could do whatever he wanted to, like like that was breathing him right there, you know what I'm saying? And, and that was that hot shit. Cause just working in the record shops, to see him in the record shop, he go and dig, go up to the turntable with a stack of records, put the headphones on, and he go through some joints, do meal drops, whatever, find some shit, and he take the headphones off and just start nodding. You could just see the whole shit forming in his head, you know what I'm saying? The joint, he had the joint done before the MP was even turned on. The master. Uh, he mastered his instrument. You know, some people never do that in one lifetime. The MPC, the drums, just hearing music, he mastered it. That was JD, you know what I'm saying? You think about geniuses of the world. They come in and they do something a certain way that everybody tries to follow what they That was him. Right? The passion he put into that music was just like, it was for the music. Like this dude loved creating music. And, and you know, he just wanted to make good music. Like stuff that it just had that effect upon people. And just that stuff that he knew was like, like impeccable. And stuff that he knew that was like just the way music should sound. And he, and he made those things. He made it above and beyond those things. But it was just the, the feel that he had that, that made JD special. He's, there's a whole wider range of, of styles that he's clearly demonstrating. People that heard his beat tapes, you know, know that they're like snowflakes. Like, no beat tape was the same. You're gonna know it's some shit that you never heard before, and you know it's gonna be special when you hear it because it's, it's, it's soul music, man. It's, it's from his soul, you know what I mean? So, I mean, you gonna feel it. That cat just had that soulfulness about it. It's like, woo! This music made me just, I could write the best songs with this music. I could just ride and feel free to this music. I can fight to this music. I can do, but you know, just so many things to how good this music is. But it was a spirit that more than anything, it just felt good. Constantly, he was always constantly reinventing himself, you know, yeah. on, on, a, on a monthly basis. You know, the bass you get this month doesn't sound nothing like the bass you got last month. A non-drummer has totally changed my 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 way of, of thinking when it comes to music. And just sitting there watching them, you know what I'm saying, cut that song, I mean, from, from, the, from the production side of things to the, um, to the actual vocals, you know what I'm saying, just watching them run it, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't no... Okay, cut it, let's pick it up there. It wasn't none of that, you know what I'm saying? It was just going there and running. I'm talking about the original joint. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy, man. Every time I hear that joint, man, it take me back. It take me back. It take me back. Even though he went through a lot of pain and, and suffering, uh, he came to a closure, and he still appreciated everything that he had to give. And his most important message to the world is to spread love and to keep the music going. And this is very dear to him. And I was blessed to be able to share the last few years one-on-one -on -one with him. And I want to thank everyone that has anything to do with the award. I want to thank all those that are anticipating the music in the future that's coming out and uh, ask them to keep their ears open. We have lots in store. And we're going to make sure that his life was not in vain, that we give what he had to the world. On the way out through the shores of New York, shit We must be in love I know somehow, some way